Now, uh, let us study the nerve blocks in the skull region or uh, let's say in the head region of an animal. Okay. <clears throat> now, what are nerve blocks? There is, you know, there are temper points where you temporarily really sensitize the nerve point. <clears throat> now, you inject or pour the anesthesia over there and desensitize the area by hampering or the obstructing the function of the nerve. Okay. Now, let's, uh, you know, just do a random overall cross examination of the nerve blocks. So, there are the following nerve blocks, supraorbital nerve block, infraorbital nerve block, corneal nerve block, retrobulbar nerve block, auriculum, palpebral nerve block, mental nerve block and mandibular nerve block. So, let's study the first nerve block that is the supraorbital nerve block. Now, this is the frontal bone. As you remember, supraorbital fossa, supraorbital fossa is this, right? It is above, so it, it is this, this supraorbital fossa above the orbit. This is the orbit, this is the supraorbital fossa. So this is the site of the supraorbital nerve block. The nerve which is uh, desensitized, desensitized over here is the supraorbital branch of the, supraorbital branch of the trigeminal nerve. So this, uh, has this block over here is of the, so this block is supraorbital nerve block in the supraorbital foramen and the nerve which is blocked is supraorbital branch of trigeminal nerve. Indication or why it is done is any operation in the upper eyelid, upper eyelid or the whole eye. Same over here. So there are two supraorbital fossa, so two areas for the supraorbital nerve block. Again, let's go for the infraorbital nerve block. So this is the infraorbital nerve block. Again, two infraorbital fossas. This is the infraorbital fossa, and this is again an infraorbital fossa. So there are two areas for the nerve block. Oh, which is the nerve affected over here? Infraorbital nerve. And what is the indication? It is for the operation in the upper jaw or the upper cheek tooth, or uh, oh, sorry, also in trephining. Uh, it is for the trephining or trephining for draining of the maxillary sinus. Now, there, if there is any infection in the maxillary sinus, so you know you drain the maxillary sinus, remove the maxillary sinus if you know. This is the maxillary sinus area. So, you puncture the maxillary sinus and you remove the pus from it and insert antibacterial, like antibacterial fluid or antiseptic fluid actually. Antiseptic fluid for you know de-infecting de it so oh, this may be infraorbital nerve block come up there. now comes the corneal nerve block what does corneal mean it is really something related to the corneal process so this is the horn core or the corneal process this the horn is the keratinous structure cap. so this is the corneal nerve uh, corneal nerve process and Iske upar aata hai horn. So the, that is the horn and this is the corneal process of horn, core. Yaha, it, this is a temporal fossa. So in midway of the temporal fossa, you get the, in midway of the temporal fossa, you get in this, uh, at the base of this corneal process, you get the site for the corneal nerve block. Corneal process, temporal fossa, midway to the base of the coronal process you get the site for coronal nerve block. Why is it, uh, no, like, which nerve does it desensitize? It desensitizes the coronal nerve. Coronal nerve which is a branch of the ophthalmic branch of the lacrimal branch of the trigeminal nerve. Very simple, trigeminal ka ek branch hai lacrimal, lacrimal se branch nikal ki hai ophthalmic and ophthalmic ki branch hai coronal. So this corneal nerve branch is desensitized at this nerve block. Why is, why is it done? Amputation of the horn. Why, why, why is there need to amputate the horn or the corneal process? If there is horn cancer, there is horn cancer. Horn gangrene or that is gangrene in horn. If the horn is suddenly Or there is you know the breaking in the horn. Like horn is broken. So phir, as you know. The sinuses, the frontal sinuses are continued in the cor cornus, the like coronal process in the horn. So, 
if to prevent any infection in the frontal sinuses it is done like it is uh, this horn the horn the coronal process is amputated or at the base the, uh, the of you know this loose skin fold liya jata hai and it is sutured like the skin is sutured over here so the frontal sinuses are closed okay here you are here you are now shit excel can this now let's go for the retrovalvular nerve block Retrovalvular nerve block has the site called external canthus of the eye. Now, what is the canthus of the eye? Critical. Now, external. Like you, the, if you know, the uh, the eye has two parts. So, this is the internal canthus, this region, which is towards the nose, and this is the external canthus. This is the ex, uh, this is the external canthus of the eye. So. As similar in this, this region has the external canthus of the cattle eye. This is a this, as you know, is the skull of a cattle. So this is the skull of some ca cattle individual. And so the here comes the external canthus, which is the site of the retrovalvular nerve block. Now nerve affected, which is like of sensory type. In sensory nerve affected is op optic nerve, as which supplies to the ear. Uh, sorry, eye, and the motor nerves affected over here or. the which are desensitized over here are oculomotor abducens pathetic and trigeminal nerves okay now indication why is it in this nerve the retrovalvular nerve block kyu hota hai kyu kiya jata hai now for intrapion extra pion operation what is extra pion jab kabhi dekho the eyeball is out of the socket now you see the eyeball it is right in the position कभी कभी द आई ब्लॉड कम्स आउट ऑफ द सॉकेट इट बल्ज आउट यू नो इट कम्स आउट ऑफ द सॉकेट तो दैट इन द सच कंडीशन इट इज कॉल्ड एक्स्ट्रा पायन सर फॉर दैट ऑपरेशन और इंट्रा पायन इंट्रा पायन मीन्स द आई बॉल गोज इन साइड द सॉकेट ऐसे ऑपरेशन में दिस नर्व ब्लॉक दैट इज रेक्ट्रो बल्बुलर नर्व ब्लॉक इज यूज एक ऑल्सो एक्स्ट्रा फिशन और एक्सट्रैक्शन Extraction of the eyeball the, from the socket. The uh, eyeball has to be extracted. Just say eyeball may cancer हो गया या कुछ और reason से eyeball को निकालना है तो even the, then this nerve block is used. Also, now how is this nerve block done? बाकी nerve block you are used directly insert. Oh, uh, you know insert the syringe. They are like you insert the needle and you just give the nerve block. Relatively easy here. But as me, what you have to do is. Insert your index finger inside the you know in, there is a space over here near the external canthus. You have to insert your index finger over here and remove kind of make a space and then using a sp spinal needle like the, the long hypodermic needle you know. So using a spinal needle you have to give the or, or inject the fluid, inject the anesthetic fluid and give the nerve block over here which is the the this the site for optic nerve. Okay. Yeah, you go. Go so, finally to the auricopalpebral nerve. Oh, auricopalpebral nerve. Now, what does the name suggest? It suggests something auditory. So, as in the name suggests, it is in the ventral aspect of the ear. So now, it is kind of in this region, but it is better seen or betterly, you know, in a better way shown in the live cases. And then the ventral aspect of the ear. Nerves affected are vestibular nerve and auditory nerve, and this uh, in the, this is used in the cases of hematoma. Now, what is hematoma? It's mostly in canines, like mostly in dogs and all. Now, in the between the ear, okay, bridge the is pina ear pina me cartilage yaha hota hai. So between the cartilage and the skin, there is you know there there is blood coagulation or blood. Accumulation. Here, blood is jammed out. Jata hai. This is the ear cartilage, and the skin. Hoti hai. So, uske beech mein the, there is a bulge, just me bulge. Khun bhar jata hai. So, khun ke bharne ke wajah se, due to the blood accumulation, there is a bulge. Use bhi nikalne ke liye, that is known as hematoma. Use bhi nikalne ke liye, you use orico palpebral nerve block. Now, it is you have to palpate it, and there is a very There is a process to check it out because it also may be a tumorous or a cancerous growth. Also, this nerve block is also used in your like a uh, amputation of the your your pinna. I mean to say, or operations of the your or your pinna. Now let's move move forward.
to the nerve blocks of the mandible. We are done with the whole skull and now let's move to the only movable bone of the skull or the head region. So the skull is done and now comes the mental foramen. Now this is the which is which surface of the mandible is this? This is a cattle's mandible. Okay. Now the ramus is the ramus and the body. This is the body. This is the ramus. This comes uh, as this is the external or the lateral surface of the mandible of cattle. This is the mental foramen. Now the, this mental foramen is the site for the nerve mental nerve block. Nerve affected is the mental branch or the mental nerve from given by mandibular nerve. This is the indication or when is it given the when is this nerve block used? Operations on the lower lip, lower jaw, and incisors like lower incisors, lower lip, and lower jaw. And yeah, uh, sorry for uh, let's just have one more time. Then this infra orbital nerve block. We didn't say anything about the lower, uh, uh, sorry, upper incisors or upper jaw. Why is it so? Because there is no upper jaw, right? This, this is a cattle skull, so there is no upper jaw. Instead, there is an upper dental pad, which is also desensitized by the infraorbital nerve block. So let's move back to the mental nerve block, which is at the side is mental foramen. Mental nerve of the mandibular nerve is desensitized and it is for the operations on lower lip, lower jaw and lower incisors or rather incisors. Also mandibular nerve block. Now is the, this is the ramus region and on the internal part, on the medial part of the uh, ramus region or the vertical part also, there is a foramen called the mandibular foramen. So uh, this foramen, this foramen now, its site is mandibular nerve block. Ka. The affected nerve is of course mandibular nerve and operation of the lower cheek may hota hai, uh, iska use ya fir uh, kisi ladai bagara mein ya uh, kisi uh, accident mein agar mandibular fracture ho gaya to bhi ye nerve, you, uh, ye nerve block use kiya jata hai. Now this is a very tedious nerve block. Kyu? To as you know this no, this mandible this is an internal part of the mandible to the medial part of the mandible so uh, let's consider my skull is actually a cattle skull so using a hypodermic syringe and sp uh, spinal needle the, it is curved along with the uh, like angle of mandible is palpated angle of mandible mila ki fir uske align karke fir it is used to Pierce or give the nerve block over here in this fossa. That's all for the, the nerve blocks in the head region of a cat. Thank you. Hmm. Now, if you now done with the nerve blocks of cattle, in the next episode, we have a look at the nerve blocks in the head region of a horse or equines, which is similar, yet we'll just have a look due to some different.